So this has to remind you of home. Yes, this reminds me of home and of my mom's kitchen. So I'm excited for you guys to try and to tell me what you think. <laughs> really, really good. A little okay. crunch on top, mm -hmm. the saltiness. It's really savory, but it's not salty. Right. Great textures. Now we get to move on to dessert. Okie dokie. Okay, so. So obviously you can choose. I always go with Nutella. So you just put however much you want to put in it. I always put it in the middle and spread it out. I usually, okay, this is very special top secret. This is how I make my, my pancake. I mean, my palachinta. It's, yes. I put the whipped cream in the middle of it. Okay, and then the way I'm rolling it is that I have this in the middle and then I'm gonna roll it around it. All right. All right, let's see, let's see. cheers. Ooh, I can eat this. So many of them. I don't think you can go wrong with this. Mm -mm. So we've got to taste your traditional dishes. So Nina, tell me a little bit about where you grew up. What type of city did you grow up? Set the scene for this dish and your experience. I grew up in a small town and it's um, located on the south of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's a Mediterranean area. It's like just on the border with the Croatia and Montenegro and like about 30 minutes away from the seaside. So you can actually smell the sea and the salt in the air and it feels like you are on the seaside, but you're not. It's very traditional, like we have like markets uh, where all the farmers bring out the food. It, everything is homemade, like yeah. everything there is homemade and it's so much better than anything that you can buy in the store. Like even yeah. now we have a garden, we grow all kinds of vegetables and like uh, we actually used to have a kind of little farm at oh, home. Oh really? Yes, yeah, so we had a cow, uh, chicken, uh, my mom would make cheese, like I would, actually she told me how to milk a cow and yeah. how to make cheese. So really? I, yes, wow. exactly, yeah. When I started hearing you talk about your parents on the farm, that immediately took my mind to work ethic. And I know how hard you work. And right. I see that that probably translated not just in the food, but also in the way that you live your life and the way that you dedicate yourself to what you're doing. Yeah, I'm definitely, like, I'm very humble because of the way I grew up, because of the way my parents raised me. And I, I've seen, like, you know, we were in the war and, like, yeah. even, like, when I was born, there was still war then and, uh, like, all people there were struggling and, like, we never really had much, you know, like, we just had enough to survive. And that's why, like, for me, it doesn't take a lot to be happy and like, you know, I, I really don't need much and that's why I said earlier, like, I'm simple, you know, like. Yes, Nina. That is very motivating, you know. Now you should be motivated to tell your story because I would oh, love to story. hear a little bit about where you are from. So tell us a little bit about yeah. your, your town, your city that you grew mm -hmm. up in and how you were raised. Yeah, so I'm from like South Hungary, it's called Pech. It's definitely a smaller, I guess, city, but it still has a lot of history. You know, if you walk in like, you know, like the main town square kind of, it's just all like the old buildings, you know, uh, churches. Uh, and that's where I lived my, what, 18 years, you know, before I came to the States. That's where my parents, you know, met each other, which was actually a very sweet story. My mom obviously was a basketball player, a professional basketball player. and. Uh, my dad was on a college team um, and they used to play like these training games or like okay. practice games and you know somehow they guarded each other and oh. then it was just kind of a love story. <laughs> and um, the rest is history. Right. The rest <laughs> is history and here I am. But yeah, so I spent most of my life there, um, decided to take a chance on America, come to college and that was definitely a difficult decision to don't leave home completely alone. I was 18, you know, coming, moving here, you know, and I was always super close to my family. So it was just like that moment that I was like, I wanted to try it out, you know, um, definitely for my basketball career, education, you know, all of that. But, you know, it's always the same thing when I go home, just spending as much time with them, not really focusing about anything, but being home and being present with them. So that's kind of my story. And, you know. Well, I'm personally very glad that you both are here. 
you know, your stories are so very different, but a lot of similarities in the enjoyment and the comfort of food, um, the love that you have for your family, and, you know, just being able to come and experience America for everything it's worth and not taking anything for granted. So I really appreciate that about the both of you and I respect that. It's very admirable. And thank you so much for sharing these two very, very delicious dishes. Of course. Well, it's been my pleasure. Yes, thank you for having us.